What's up, you guys? Third video of the day, but I'm on a roll, so I'm just keep going. Um, this one's for hanging with the girls. She wanted to know why some people. She wanted to know why some people don't seem to be able to get over the narcissist. Here's my. Well, I can tell you exactly why, and I can tell you what I did to get over it, and what you can do to get over it. Okay. Now, yeah, you can go to therapy. I suggest you do that anyway. But that's not what got me over it. What got me over it is realizing that narcissism and narcissistic abuse is a spiritual um, abuse. Okay? Sorry, that was lipstick. I just like licked my finger. Anyway, it's a spiritual abuse. So when you share your body with someone that spirit within them transfers into you to a degree and vice versa. So just because they left does not mean that you don't have some of that like left over, that residual energy, right? Left over. So sometimes that can make you pretty sad. It's a demonic attachment, right? Um, what, what I did and what you need to do, and let's go ahead and just give you an analogy really, really, really quick. So let's say you are a, a, a white countertop and the narcissist is a clear bar of soap, okay? If you were to run that clear bar of soap across the white countertop, you're not going to see where that soap was run across that clear, I mean, against that white countertop. But it does not mean that there's not a residue. And just like that narcissist ran their self across your white countertop, um, here's the cop's every time right um there's a there's a there's a residue within you okay um does it mean that you're a demon no does it mean you have demonic energy within you well yeah because that got in you right uh let's just we're adults so if if you can't you know if you're scared you know what i'm gonna say if you're scared get a dog right but uh the minute that he abandoned me i like without even thinking about it, I immediately went out and got a dish. Like I did. I was just like, I feel like I need to clean the inside of myself. Right. But, but you also need a spiritual dish. Okay. And how you do that is you need to, and look it up. There are many ones. And when you see it, you'll know that it's for you. You can also type or, or speak into the uh, search bar and say, Hey, Google, um, prayers to break soul ties. And I need you to pray that prayer and, and break that soul tie. Pray that prayer as many times as you need to. But I prayed it one time and I had faith and it went the hell up out of here. Now, if you're not someone who wants to pray to break a soul tie, you can. Because I'm not going to sit there and shame anybody for how they get there. Just get there, right? As long as it's not like demonic. Okay. Um, I can't support you with that one. But yeah, you could also look up cord cutting, um, a cord cutting ritual. It, as long as you're not praying to some something that you don't know and stuff like that, if if it's just a cord cutting, just or at least research it. But breaking soul ties in prayer, that's what I would suggest you do. That will get rid of that. Doesn't mean you're going to pray it while you're on your way to bed and wake up and be like, oh, it's gone. Doesn't mean that. It was kind of like that for me because I was like, hmm. It was just one day I I didn't even realize it that um, someone brought him up. And that's the moment where I, re where I realized like, oh, I literally haven't thought of him. It's been months. Oh, it's been a year. I don't think of him ever, really. I have to go del delve into it when I'm talking to you guys to like, you know, um, share experience so that maybe it could help. Right. But on a daily basis from sunup to sundown, I don't think about him like ever. I could see him drive past me or something. And it's like, it's not even him. Cause in my spirit, he was never even born. How does that, how does that work when you have a child with him? I have a child that God allowed me to have. God gave me this child, right? I don't, I don't even look at my child and go, oh, her dad is a, I don't think about any of that shit. Now, when she grows up, if she wants to ask me something, I will openly be able to give her the answer without feeling anything here and nothing here. So you need to do the spiritual work, you guys. All right, baby. 
hanging with the girls, I love you. And I, and that's that's how you do that, okay? I promise you, it will go away. But you have to do it in the spirit, in the spirit realm. Because otherwise, therapy's not going to work. And I'll tell you why. Because when that therapist was talking to me, before I did that cord cutting and that that prayer to break soul ties, everything she said made sense. But it was like, boing, boing. It was just like bouncing off of my my psyche because I was still like, well, yeah, this is a great conversation. But when we hang up, the shit is still there, you know? But as soon as I did that, it was gone. So do the cord cutting and do the um, prayer to break soul ties. And I promise you, lovely souls out there, you will be at peace you will have your peace back. It'll be better and stronger than you. It'll be the type of peace you never even felt in general ever. And it'll keep getting better. Okay. But you got to do it in the spirit before you can work on the little cookie crumbs that fall off of things with like therapy. All right. Love you. And hey, happy soul tie breaking. Bye.